Grade 8 Math, number 7.4c, Linear Equations, Base Angles of a Triangle. Before in video number 7.2d, we found the perimeter of a rectangle using a linear equation. Now we're going to find the base angles for a triangle from a linear equation. So here's our drawing, and it tells us that this angle is this, 9x minus 25 plus x degrees, and this angle is x plus 50 plus 2x minus 12 degrees. We want to find out if they're equal. So we rewrite it with an equal sign in between them, and we start combining the like terms to simplify it. That 9x and that x can get together to become a 10x. Now we have 10x minus 25. And on this side of the equal sign, this x plus this 2x makes 3x's. So we have 3x plus 50 minus 12. We combine this, and 50 minus 12 is 38. That's our new equation. 10x minus 25 equals 3x plus 38. We can eliminate that minus 25 by adding 25 to each side. You know what that'll do? That'll create a zero pair, won't it? And it'll cancel that out. 38 plus 25 is 63. Now we can eliminate that 3x by subtracting 3x on each side. That creates another zero pair. And 10x minus 3x is 7x. Now we drop down our 63. We divide both sides by 7 to make our friend the invisible 1, 1x. And 1x is equal to 9, because 7 times 9 is 63. Now, we're not done. We have to plug that 9 into the original equation to get the angles, the degree measures. So our x is equal to 9. Let's plug it in everywhere that there's an x. So on this side, it was 9x minus 25 plus x. So we've got 9x. That's 9 times 9. That's 81. And at the end here, it's going to be plus 9. Well, 81 minus 25 is 56 plus the 9 is 65. So now we know that's one angle over here. This one is 65 degrees. Okay? Now, let's do this one. So we plug the 9 in everywhere there's an x, and we get 9 plus 50 plus 18, 2 times 9 is 18, minus the 12 degrees. So 9 plus 50 is 59, plus the 18 is 77, and minus the 12 Look at that. It's also 65. So the two angles are equal. This angle is also 65 degrees. And see how we did that? So that is how we use a linear equation to find the angles of a triangle. As we get farther into algebra and geometry, we're going to do more stuff like this. But I thought it would be helpful because there was a problem like this in the book. Okay? I'll see you next video. We're going to move on to Chapter 8. And that's solving systems of linear equations by graphing. So we're getting there, okay? Systems of linear equations and graphing, all right? I'll see you next video. Bye.